Stay tuned. Well, Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute is launching a new study on the effects of fasting on cholesterol levels. For more, I'm joined by Dr. Benjamin Horn. And you think about cholesterol and you think or fasting, and that might make sense to seeing some effects on cholesterol. Talk about that. We think so. We've been doing fasting studies for over a decade now and seen some very interesting effects on potentially lowering the risk of diabetes and coronary heart disease. And so it made a lot of sense. There are a lot of uh, animal studies out there, biological studies that suggest the same thing, but there's not a really good randomized trial that's been published, and so we wanted to do something that, that's of the quality where the study would be something you might be able to get the FDA to approve a drug or device. But <laughs> a device does not, not eat. Right. <laughs> Are there any preliminary studies or anything that we can say of the effects? Is it good or bad, or that's what we're trying to find out? That's partly what we're trying to find out. There's some good pilot study evidence that cholesterol and blood pressure and uh, insulin resistance that, that leads to diabetes are reduced by fasting routinely. There also are a wide variety of regimens that people do of fasting every other day, twice mm -hmm. a week, uh, five times, uh, five days in one month, and so it's it's kind of difficult to determine what's the best regimen as well. Explain the study. What are you looking for? What are the people you're trying to get a cross section of, and for how long? What did people need to know about that? We're looking for people who have mildly elevated cholesterol and have either pre-diabetes, uh, diabetes controlled by their diet, or have metabolic syndrome and we're going to ask them to fast uh, once a, a week for 24 hours, consuming water only, and to do that for six months. So once wow. a week for six months. And uh, we think that that's a fasting regimen that's a little more tolerable than every other day, but that will have an effect in, in people who are uh, potentially at risk of chronic disease that they will be able to pull back from that, that brink of being diagnosed with a chronic disease. Oh, excellent. And so when you're talking about elevated levels, what numbers are you talking about to key in on, on the people that you're trying to find? Well, it depends on the age, and it's based on uh, medical guidelines. Of there, there are thresholds for people who are up to 39 years old and up to 60 for if they have an indication for, for a statin medication to lower cholesterol. So it's right below that. We're looking for people who don't quite qualify to have a medication, but that are looking for something to, uh, like fasting, that, that will provide them an opportunity to bring those levels down. How many people are in the study, and where can they call or find out more information? We're looking for 128. Half of them will be standard diet, and the other half will be fasting once a week. And they can call Intermountain Medical Center and uh, talk to our research coordinator to see if they qualify for this. And it's study. for six months every week, once a week fasting. That's right. Okay, thank you so much. Of course, we'll have more information on our website, or you can always go on the Intermountain Medical Center's website as well, or that number right there on your screen. It's called The Wonderful Study, 801-507-4698. Four, nine, four, eight, nine, four eight, eight. eight nine eight. Sorry, my eyes are getting <laughs> to me. Uh, thank you so much for that information. Hopefully, people thank will you. call that number. Glenn, back to you.